I think one thing that's very important um, from my perspective is um, self-respect and to understand and know yourself. And um, I think one one thing it influenced me a lot is um, it's actually from my mom. She uh, from a, when I was a kid, she uh, always talked to me about diet, um, health. Um, diet, a lot of the things that would suit me. She understand my skin, my body, like in the Chinese medicine, there's always talk about inner heat or um, the, the cool. And she, she knows my body type, my skin type, and she will um, change the diet according to me, my body change or according to the season. Um, and she encouraged me to read, to learn about um, all different herbs and um, food, vegetables, and trying to, um, to, to, how to say, to manage, um, to, to see the, the skin and body change. So like when I wake up, she always asked me, you should look at the mirror and find out, do you have more open pores around here that maybe means you, you have too much inner heat you should have more green vegetables and have more vitamin c so she teaches me all of these things you've got flawless skin you have gorgeous hair you are impeccably groomed um i'd like to ask you your your skincare you and i've talked about your skincare routine and it is quite hectic tell me about your personal skincare grooming and how it's changed from your 20s to now in your late 30s. Um, what have you learned and, uh, and what do you think really, really works for you? I, um, so I had one of those um, accidents with my mom before I came to Australia. She, uh, I was at my teenage time, uh, teen, I was a teenager. So she gave me a set of um, Japanese skincare and it was a full set of anti-aging products she got as a gift. And she thought it, it, will be a, it would be a gift for me. So without thinking whether it suited, I think that was one of the rare mistakes she made in her life. And because it looked so, beautifully packed. I, I used that anti-aging skincare routine, the entire routine when I was a teenager. Wow. And I broke out. And um, so I was really afraid of using those skincare. Even um, I was introduced to more um, like designer brand, prestige brand when I was at uni. Um, I was a bit afraid, but I had consultations at cosmetic counters and also I read some um, beauty books by celebrities. So I started to understand skincare is important. So I, I tried to overcome that fear about getting breakouts, just talk to the, cosme uh, to the consultant. I got myself a very simple routine. Uh, I started with cleanser, a moisturizer, and then I slowly added things in. And ever since I started working with Clinique and I understand skin, um, understand how important exfoliate is, how important um, is to look after the eyes. And I just slowly introduced different products into my routine. And by the age of 28, I have a routine of more than 10 products. And tell me and when I you started to take things out and you simplified your skincare routine, you and also, you know, when you hit your 30s, did you start having clinical treatments as well? Do you have laser? Do you have ultrasound? Do you have, um, you know, any kind of uh, injectables? Actually, no. I think the, um, I, I want to be very honest. I was one of those girls. Um, I don't want to like this encourage people to go to clinics, but I always want to be natural. Um, I understand some um, injections actually good for you when you are younger and the earlier you have it, it could be, um, be more beneficial, but I wasn't one of those. Um, I go to clinics and um, I did have some injections over in the past two years. And yet basically that's um, like, Botox, I had it, not much. 
not much. And I started about two years ago that um, to go into beauty clinics. And another thing is, I personally don't like being touched by strangers. Oh wow! So I didn't like going to facials. And you know, sometimes we we were pampered in those massage. Um, yes, it's super relaxing. But I personally don't like going a plan for those um, body treatment or facials because to me it's just a personal thing I don't like being touched by strangers why do you then if if wrinkles don't bother you and I agree I don't think the conversation about being ageless is ever about wrinkles it's always about a timeless quality in a man or a woman Uh, It's about their energy. It's about how they view themselves in the future, in the present, their past, how they wear their life story. So having, let's put wrinkles out of the equation. Why do you want to take such good care of yourself? What does it give you other than, you know, making the wrinkles disappear or your pores smaller? What is it about investing in yourself that makes you feel ageless? Um, it, it's similar to my life philosophy to myself. It's about try everything you can before um, any damage can happen. So you, you're always well prepared. And I think I was really smart when I was at 25, after 25, after I realized, uh, after I met La Perry at the counter, I, I know the brand history, I started to know it worked and I, um, out of all the ingredients I have learned, and I, I believed in that ingredients. In I, it was um, I started with caviar, and I I altern, alternated with white caviar and um, skin caviar, and then um, I was introduced to platinum, and it was like two thousand dollars for the um two or th- uh, for the four, the whole pack around their um, Christmas time, and I didn't hesitate and bought the entire pack. Um, that was 10 years ago, more than, yeah, more than 10 years ago, no, t- uh, less than 10 years ago. And I, I think it's, it's like you've tried everything, you've done everything you could. And if things still go wrong, it means, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. have you tried enough? Have you exercised enough? Have you had the, the best diet if you uh, have, when you had time, were you just sitting there eating junk food or you actually make the habit to make some fruits for yourself? I want to pick up on something that you said then and also a little bit earlier, which I think is really interesting. You were saying, you know, stop think, worrying about what your neighbor thinks, stop worrying about peer pressure. And also earlier you said that you read a lot of celebrity beauty books. Mm. How influenced are you still by what? you know, social media or celebrities are doing versus what experts are telling you to do? Myself, I am not influenced by anyone because I, I yeah, since a teenager, I learned that it's always about um, knowing what I need and find out what I need. But um, if I look around my girl, my Asian girlfriends, I know they are very influenced. And sometimes I go shopping with them. Um, when we pass by a cosmetic counter, they will just show, oh, that is um, whoever this um, actors, um, act was, uh, actress was using, was like um, showing in her Weibo or um, this, this was the fragrance, whoever was like um, in the campaign. So they actually really, really listen to the celebrities and they check whatever they're using. And the reality shows, sometimes they will just, um, when we watch together, they will just say, I see, um, can you see it? Like um, she's using this in her bathroom, is that working? Things like that. And um, I can I can see um, that big influence Um, and what about you you know you're on you've got a great social media following like I was saying and you create a lot of content for your followers are they following what you do and and where do you get your information to share with them so that they follow you as the influencer at the beginning I always um I always want to do something that's very visualized so uh, make the product stand out you you will see I don't have it's 
not every photo is about me. And most of the time I'll actually put the product forward and just to showcase that product. And um, I want my Instagram to be more like a, a new launch. You, you will find out what's new. And I also try to send the message like what this product's about. And um, recently I also share more about um, my uh, living philosophy, the readings I've done um, into the story to make um, the post more thoughtful and more about like more soulful, <laughs> there's more spirit in it. Um, I, the reason why I do that is I don't want to impact people's um, um, habit. I don't want to change others' habit. I want to inspire them. I want to share with what um, worked for me, but I understand what works for me, not necessarily work for you. I want to give them more options. But um, at the same time, I would love to share more tips, um, how to shop, um, how to shop more, um, how to say, how to spend less money on the on better products and how to, avoid um, buying things that's not suitable. How to, um, I want to share tips like that, but I don't want to push them to just buy whatever I'm using. I don't think that's right.